and oppose semicolon storm chasers and oppose star Joel Taylor and oppose semicolon s cause of death revealed. Toxicology results confirmed Joel Taylor's cause of death. The Bureau of Forensic Sciences of Puerto Rico tells TMZ that the storm chasers star overdosed on MDMA, commonly known as ecstasy. They also found traces of ketamine in his system. Taylor died earlier this year after being found unresponsive in his room on a cruise. The Discovery Channel star was enjoying Atlantis events all gay Caribbean cruise which set sail from FT. Lauderdale, Florida, on January 20th. The event was filled with performances from Olivia Newton-John to electronic dance music duo Galantis. Taylor's family positively identified his body in San Juan. Puerto Rico, a day after he passed away. It was suspected at the time drugs played a role in Taylor's death as a source told TMZ he was consuming controlled substances. Initially, it was believed to be GHB, a downer sometimes referred to as the date rape drug. A passenger told the outlet that Taylor was rendered unconscious and had to be carried off the dance floor and back to his room by two people on the night of January 23rd. I wish I could have just one more chase, his friend and former Storm Chasers co-star Reed Timmer wrote on Facebook after Taylor's passing. He was such a great friend to so many he will leave behind such a huge void. His legacy will certainly chase on forever. Taylor's family has yet to comment on the release of a toxicology report. Read more on Yahoo Entertainment Naked for All to See. Tattooed teen mom Mossy book out strips down and worries about survival on naked and afraid modern family star Sarah Highland hospitalized, reveals photo of swollen face Pete Davidson officially confirms engagement to Ariana Grande, it's so lit.